Hello everybody! I finally have time to film a budget video and this is going to be a little bit different. We're going to do some happy mail and we're also going to just kind of do like a monthly recap because I haven't done a weekly check-in in a couple weeks I think it's been and I was stressing myself out thinking that I needed to get those done and I'm like you know what we're just going to go ahead and do a monthly closeout because my payday is here. So let's go ahead and jump into this. Hello everybody, Marlene, aka Snow Gardener 307. We are here for kind of a hodgepodge, different kind of budgeting video. We've got some Happy Mail. We've got it right here. So we're going to start out with this, but I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit really quick about what I've got in front of me. And I also wanted to give you guys an update on my son. Peyton is doing very well. He's not using his crutches anymore. He still has his brace on and is in a little bit of pain, but things are looking up. He will see his doctor this next week. We are still waiting on a police report for the accident. And so nothing has been done for insurance, but I have talked to the individual's insurance. And of course they are going to be totaling my son's truck out because it's a 1991 Ford truck and it has a $16,000 or so worth of damage. So they're not going to pay that. I want to thank everybody who has been so kind to pay it forward to my son. I've been putting that money aside for him and it has just made his day. So let's go ahead and start out with the calendar today. And the calendar today is kind of what made me decide to do this video. I have been putting stress on myself, like I said in the intro, trying to get everything done. And I've been giving myself grace, but it was like, then it's been so long since I've touched my finances that stuff can get out of control very, very quickly. I already know we're over budget this month because I already did the check-in, but I knew that before I did it. So let's go ahead and look at our You Are a Badass calendar for today, Thursday, September 29th. Take a few moments to set yourself self up for success and you'll get there a hell of a lot faster. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm taking a few moments to set myself up, up for success for October because we need to get September done. My payday is actually tomorrow, but I have one of those early deposit things. So my check is already sitting in the bank. So it's time to close this month out and start a new month. We are going to go ahead and set this aside really quick so that we can get to our happy mail. And the first piece of happy mail that we're going to open is from Budget with Frey. And this is something that I ordered. And Frey, I apologize that I have not opened it. I like to open stuff on video whenever I can to help support those so you guys can see what it is that you need. And so she mailed this on 9-6. So Frey, I appreciate it. I'll get this uh, reviewed. And so let's just go ahead and get this cut. And of course it has a super cute little sticker, fragile things inside, handle with care. So let's see what we've got in here. And Frey was so sweet that she sent me those IOU cards for free. So that is why I went ahead and placed another order because I was planning on ordering those IOU cards and she sent them to me. So then I just had to find something else that I needed. All right, so there's the package. Go ahead and set that aside. So right here, of course, Budget with Frey on YouTube, Instagram, and on Etsy, it's crafted by Frey. And it says, she, she just is thanking me for my order. So let's take a look. Um, I hope this package brightens your day the same way your order brightened, your order did mine. That's so awesome. I love it. So let's take a look and see what I've got here. Love what's inside. Snap, share, and review. That is such a cute sticker. I love it. So cute. All right. So here we go, you guys. Doo -doo -doo. If I could ever open the packages, I'm so bad at opening packages. Let's take a look. So this is what I ordered, and it is an acrylic bookmark, and I just thought it was so pretty. And I know she made it and I just love supporting people and getting things that they have made. I love this and it's not perfect and it's, you know, it's handcrafted. That's what I love. So often when people order things, they want it to be perfect. It's like part of the imperfection is what makes it so beautiful. I plan on using this in my books. And of course I ordered the heart bookmark from her. 
I am actually using that one in my monthly, uh, what am I trying to say? Oh, my recipes and my, not my recipes. Let's go back. I use that one for my weekly meal plans and my grocery list. So sometimes you'll see that if you watch my other channel on my grocery hauls. So that's where that's at. But I absolutely love this. And Frey was so sweet. She added in a couple fully funded trackers for me. Thank you so much, Frey. Love it, love it, love it. All right, then we've got a couple cards here and we've got a package. And none of this stuff is stuff that I knew was coming. Of course, we have this from my friend Kathy at Kathy's Cash and Coins. And of course, she's got beautiful sunflower and a little leaves and it says, choose love. Kathy is always so sweet. I was so excited to see her back on her channel. So you guys make sure you go check out Kathy if you have not already. And let's see what she's got in here. It says, thank you so much for the nice things you do you for your thoughtfulness too. Kathy. Hey, Marlene, thank you for your thoughtfulness. I love my new stickers. Hope you are doing well. Love, Kathy. Kathy. Oh my gosh, that card is so cute. And here we go, you guys. Another $2 bill to go into my sinking fund. And I do have a big expenditure out of there, but don't worry, I'm not spending the $2. Thank you so much, Kathy. That card is just adorable. And then I have got this from Tracy. Tracy, Tracy. So let's take a look. And see what it is and it's her last name is on there and I think I know who it is but let's see what the inside says oh look at that look at the little puppy and the kitty so very cute some stickers yes so this says hope it finds you frightfully happy so cute. Hi, Marlene. Just a quick note to thank you for the support. You are an amazing person and truly appreciated. Plus that Georgette is so stinking cute. Thanks, Tracy at Golden Girl Budgets. So very cute. And then look at these cute little stickers. Oh, look at there's a lemon. <laughs> and build a monster. And oh my gosh, these little puppies are so cute. I love Halloween stuff. Thank you so much, Tracy. You guys go check out Golden Girl Budgets. Her channel, I'm just loving it. There are so many channels, you guys, that are so amazing. And just small, simple things and thoughtfulness is just means the world to me. Now, this package, it does not have a return address, so I really have no idea who it's from. So let's go ahead and open this up because we know it's Happy Mail because it has Snow Gardener 307 on there. I finally had my post office ask, like, um, are these for you? And I'm like, yeah, it has my P.O. box. So they added my Snow Gardener name onto the P.O. box so they'll stop worrying about stuff. So let's take a look. You guys know I stink at opening packages. I totally missed where I was trying to go with that. All right, what do we have in here? Oh my goodness, what is this? What is this? Oh, the tape, the tape. All right. Whew. All right, let's take a look. There's some Trader Joe's stuff in here. I've never had anything Trader Joe's, you guys. So let's take a look. Hopefully there's a name in here because I have no idea who this is from. So let me go ahead and unload everything. And there is a card in here. Oh, good. Okay. And then we'll talk about what's in there. Oh. Okay. So here's our thanks card. And I had a feeling once I saw Trader Joe's in there, I had a feeling I knew who it was. And the tea as well. So Trader Joe's. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So we've got three different kinds of tea and we've got a gluten-free pumpkin pancake mix. Oh my goodness. We've got a pumpkin spice rubos. I don't know how you say that kind of tea. So tea bags there and look at how cute this little tin is. And then we also have some harvest blend herbal tea, caffeine free and some spiced chai. This girl knows me. And let me tell you who this is from. This is from my friend Chris from Chris Budgets. And it says, Hi Marlene, just wanted to send a little love your way. I am so sorry about the accident and everything your son has to go through. It's finally fall-ish 
here in Virginia. I hope you enjoy these goodies. And she says, with love, Chris. Look at how cute that is. Is that not just adorable? All right. And it started raining and my dogs are outside. So let me go put the dogs inside. I'll be right back. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it's actually hailing outside. The hail is jumping up off of everything. So the puppies are inside safe and sound. All right. So thank you so much, Chris. I appreciate you more than you'll know. Oh my goodness. She's so sneaky, that Chris. So very sweet. I can't wait to try these pancake mixes. I feel like I should do a review of those on my other channel. Those just sound amazing. Alrighty, let's open up our calendar. Let's talk about what we have got going on. And, oops, hit the desk. So I've got my wallet here. Oops, that one is my bill calendar. And look at how cute Georgette is. Isn't she cute? And then here's my September spread. So I took the time to go through and get all of my expenses on here. The last expenses that I think I had in here were like the 12th. And so I had a couple weeks to do. I got those in there. I can tell you this. I did not reach my no spend goal. That is the first time in a long time I ended up with 17 no spends. And a read one book. Nope. $200 in debt. That's extra debt payment. Nope. So, zero for three this week, or this month, but that's okay, we'll reset for next month. So, we've got all kinds of spending here. I'm going to walk you through very quickly what's on here because I only have one weekly check-in and it's going to incorporate everything from the 12th all the way till the end of the month, the 29th. And tomorrow I put a no spend on there um, because I'm not spending tomorrow because I'm working and all of that stuff. So, let's talk about this. So I do have a color-coded system. All of the stickers that you see on this page are my sister-in-law's stickers at 307 Design Studio. So make sure you go show her some love. And let's go ahead and start on the 12th. All right, you guys, the 12th. I obviously did some shopping, shall we say. I went to the thrift store and spent $13. I went to the car wash and washed my car, and then it immediately rained after. I went to Ridley's, and you'll see I have two different expenditures here. I think I had two different trips, but, I mean, that was two and a half weeks ago, so a girl can only think maybe why she did that. So $68 and $50. Then I bought myself and Peyton some drinks. I got myself a frozen chai, and I got Peyton a frozen hot chocolate. I spent $29 on eBay. This was for canning jars for my asparagus. Then the next day, I had to do some more shopping because I went to get my eyelashes done, so you got to do some stuff. Then I went ahead and went to Ridley's for a couple more things, and then I went to the thrift store for $4. So, And that was it for the week, right, until Sunday. So that was pretty good. And so let's go ahead and move on over here to Sunday. So Sunday I've got $7 at the thrift store and $120 at Ridley's. Then we had a no spend and a no spend. And then this is when my son, his accident happened. So these next couple days were absolutely insane. Um, I went and did some grocery shopping for $66. We also had China Gourmet for $54. Um, this mama just did not fill up to cooking that night. I did do some other stuff, but um, we were at the clinic till late here, and I had to go to work here, so then I slept here. And when I got up, I did not want to cook. And then let's go ahead and move on to that Thursday. Then we're going to move on to Thursday and Friday. Um, right here you can see 2K, 50 bucks. This was for my 2,000 subscriber giveaway. Thank you to everybody that entered. And so that was $50 that I put into my bank to disperse amongst other people. And then I got my eyelashes done again. And no, that wasn't two weeks, but they weren't doing amazing. So I got them done again. And then I had an online shopping fun time. So I got... Um, two bags of dog food, two bags of cat food, and some litter. Um, Old Navy, my son actually, for the first time since he's been going to the school, does not have to wear uniform shirts. So he didn't have any shirts. So I spent 70 bucks on some shirts for him. And then I went ahead and fueled up with $55. Amazon, I spent my $100 gift card on some prepping stuff, some gamma lids. And then I also got myself a little cast iron Dutch oven. I'm so excited. You guys will see that on my other channel. I'm going to be doing some bread. And then your girl got herself a new Fitbit. Isn't it pretty? Oh, so pretty. So 
That's the money that I was saving for myself. I was going to get the same Fitbit that I already had that broke. It was much cheaper. And my husband talked me into going ahead and getting the newest and the greatest. This is the four, I think it is. I don't know. So the girl spoiled herself. That's right. Spoiled, spoiled, spoiled. All right, then no spending on the 24th. And let's go ahead and move this on over here to where we are at the 25th. There we go. So school lunches. I sent my son with cash the first day of school. My son is a 17 year old and sometimes doesn't use his brain. He did not give them the cash and so he ended up with a negative school balance. So I tried to send him with that $50 again, or he still had that $50. She tried to give it to his principal only to be told they don't take cash. Sometimes that makes me very angry. So I got online and did what they said and put $100 on there because you know we already had this month, we got next month. Then it charges me a fee. So I reach out to the school and I'm like, hey, I don't want to pay fees, right? I don't want to pay an extra $3 when I put $100 on. That's another school lunch for my kid. And they're like, well, you could do that and he could bring it here and stuff. So we're going to see if we can figure it out next time. And then the 26th, I was out of town. If you watch my other channel, um, this trip right here will be going up this next week. So we have Smith's Grocery Store for $90. We have Sapporo for $46. This is Julia and I for sushi. Our normal sushi spot is closed on Monday. Very sad. Sapporo was good, but it was not as good as our normal sushi spot. And then, of course, I'm still in Rock Springs, as is Bridger, because he's working on a job there. And I went ahead and got some Little Caesars pizza. I actually took two pizzas, sodas, breadsticks um, to him and his guys at the job site. And then I brought a pizza home for Peyton and I. Then I had to get gas again because um, on the 23rd, I fueled up and I took my son um, 50 miles to his dad and then had to pick him up again. And then, of course, by the time driving 100 miles again, had to fuel up again. So $59 went to the Dollar Tree, spent $32, sp uh, bought some stuff for Julia and a little bit for myself. And then Walmart was $141 and a haircut was $40 and um, a drink was $5. I just remembered. I'm going to write this in and then I'll cover it up with a sticker. We also had TJ Maxx for $18. It's a miracle, you guys. TJ Maxx was only $18. The reason why I forgot about this was I did use my TJ Maxx card. I got um, my new grand puppy, Jax. I got him a toy and then I got Julia some ornaments for a Halloween tree because hello, the girl needs a Halloween tree. That's what we got at the Dollar Tree as well. And I'm hoping that she'll send me a picture. If she's decorated, I'm gonna ask her to send me a picture and I'll put it in right here. Now you guys are asking, Marlene, why does she need a Halloween tree? I mean, come on, um, hello, because her birthday is on Halloween. So if you can have a tree on your birthday, wouldn't you want a tree on your birthday? So no spend, no spend. And then yesterday I went to the thrift store and spent $5 and I went to release and spent $74. <laughs> I went to buy cilantro and spent $74. Wow. That was some expensive cilantro. Make sure you guys stay tuned. This is going to be up either the same day as this video is or the next day. This is a bonus haul and I'll show you guys why I spent the $74. All right, let's go ahead and zoom on out. All right, everybody. So that's all the spending for the month. The spending that I can remember. I don't know if it was the best tracking. So I went ahead and crossed off these two weeks of tracking. I don't know if this pen is going to show up super good, but uh, let me show you what we've got. If I hold it up closer, hopefully you guys can see. So for food, we started out with $436. We spent $668. That means we were over budget $232. I decided just to roll it right there just to make my life easier. Then on Prepper Pantry, we were already in the negative after the first week, so we didn't add anything else to it. So negative 11. So for food and Prepper Pantry, we owe $243. And this is going to be on my rewards credit card, so I've got to get that paid off. And then for my car, I started out with $153. I had two fuel ups and a car wash, so $124. So I'm left with $29. Let's make sure that that's what I've got. And let's go ahead and get that unstuffed, shall we? Let's get this money on out of here. I forgot to grab these out because I forgot what I was doing. All right. So grocery, empty. Food on the go, empty. Car, $20. I have 29. I th oh, I remember. 
I had messed up the, my addition. 133. So that left me with 20. I fixed it on one spot, but not here. So this 20 is going to go to transfer today, whenever that happens. Hopefully in the next couple days, because I need to get that money taken care of. All right, so car had $20, and we're going to go ahead and put $20 to transfer today. And then myself, me, myself, and I... I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing, you guys. I got four bucks right there. It shouldn't be there. I know that. <laughs> so I started out with $93. I spent $73. I had 20 left to 10. That's going to go to transfer today. Then for pay it forward, I had 51. I paid $50 forward. I should have $1 left. There's $1 in there. We're going to leave that. And then for fun and miscellaneous, we had $50. Home, we had negative 26. So we didn't spend anything. We're going to let these two roll just like they are. So we've got $50 in fun and miscellaneous. Home has one of budget with phrase IO cards. And so right here, I owe $26. So when the cash gets stuffed this next time, this $26 will be going to the rewards credit card. Then I've got my bank money. This is money that I've spent um, out of my envelopes that I spent on my card, my rewards card. And right now you guys, I am using the Hawaiian airlines rewards card because your girl is trying to get to Hawaii super cheap. So let's talk about this. So sinking funds, the first week we spent 216, the next few weeks. And I did not fix this either. I fixed it on my calendar, but I didn't fix it here. It's a good thing. We've got erasable pens. 1239 is our monthly total. And let's get Mr. Cassio out here and see. So 1239 minus 216, 1023. Like I said, I fixed it on my calendar, but I forgot to fix it on my sheet right here. I hope you guys give me some grace on how crazy this monthly closeout is in this budget video because sometimes life happens. So sinking funds. The first week when I had done my check-in, we spent 216. The next three weeks, we spent 1023 so we spent $1,239 in sinking funds. That's what the money is there for. That's what we've been saving it for. We did have some large expenditures. Of course, I had my Fitbit that was $240. We had $200 in pet food. And then we just had a lot of stuff. You know, I had my eyelashes done a couple times. We had Sam's Club order, all that kind of stuff. So this right here. Twelve thirty nine all came out of our sinking funds. Now you notice I left uh oh at zero dollars, even though I have two things up here at negative. Like I said, I just decided to do that to make my life easier instead of trying to figure out to use different stickers and all of that kind of stuff. So two hundred and forty three dollars, we're gonna have to come up with that somewhere. Um, I do believe we're just gonna cash flow it out of our upcoming paychecks. My hubby got paid already, and you guys have not seen a budget video, so that should be coming soon as well. But I'm still happy with the month considering what I got in groceries and what my prepper pantry looks like. Wait till you guys see my surprise. It's in the kitchen. My friend Aaron from Aaron, uh, I almost said Aaron budgets. It is Aaron budgets aimlessly. I almost said Aaron twibbles around aimlessly. So Aaron is the only person that has seen the surprise that I have. And we chat a lot of times. And so she saw it on video. All right, everybody. So I think that's it. We are going to have Bridger's budget coming up. We need to do some um, sinking funds or not sinking funds. We need to do some savings challenges, cash stuffing, and we need to do a transfer today. I have a feeling the savings challenges and the transfer today are definitely going to be in the same video. And then of course my payday is coming up. So we're going to have two budget with me's coming up and at least one other budget video. Thank you guys so much for all of the love. Thank you guys for the happy mail for Chris budgets, for Golden Girl budgets, and Kathy at Kathy's Cash and Coin. I appreciate you guys more than you know. Your happy mail just made my day today. And thank you to everybody for being so kind to my son with everything that he's going through right now. We will let you guys know what happens with his truck and what insurance decides. And don't worry, this mama, this mama's gonna fight for her boy. All right, everybody, uh, that's it for me today. Thank you guys for joining me. And until I see you guys next time, remember to keep on smiling. Bye, everybody.